Randy Miller is recognized as a leader across the field of biomedical informatics. A leader is someone other people want to follow. And if you look at Randy's career, he's done every major leadership position in our field. Randy is a classic academic medicine triple threat. Whatever he does, he does it really to the nth degree. He brings intellect and humor brought together to pick the right problems and to solve them in the right way. He's been president of ACME, he's run AMIA, he's run the Ball Symposium, he's obviously been a two-time editor of the journal. And in all of those ways, Randy's had major influence. Actually doing work, being out there, and being a superb diagnostician and medical practitioner is really outstanding. Randy's made fundamental contributions to clinical decision support, to the ethics of clinical decision support, and to the training of two generations of leaders in biomedical informatics. Randy is one of these people who is Randy. He has thick glasses, he loves coffee, he loves wine, he's unapologetically Shakespearean, and is happy to put all of that in his talks, and you have to accept it. I began my career five decades ago working on the diagnostic knowledge base, initially known as Internist One, and then later as QMR, and now currently as the Vanderbilt DDDX knowledge base. During medical school elective time, I volunteered to work as a programmer for Popol and Myers in 1973. I helped to develop the Internist One diagnostic system from its inception. Randy began working on a project called Internist One and the Quick Medical Reference, or QMR. This work automated medical knowledge, but that wasn't enough for Randy. Randy needed to understand what would the clinician be doing when he or she was looking at the screen and getting this advice or getting this information. He brought human factors, he brought an understanding of how information fed into the clinician workflow, and therefore he was able to build tools that were useful and usable by clinicians in many different situations. He's the first person I remember speaking of clinical decision support as augmenting human intelligence, what we now call augmented AI. And he did this in the 1980s, having previously worked with more traditional approaches to AI, where the computer is the expert. So Dr. Miller was one of the people who started to help practicing clinicians in better diagnostic measures, which would help healthcare. So his quick medical reference was that tool that was there. When I first arrived at Vanderbilt as the new chair of biomedical informatics, the hospital had just begun to roll out a commercial care provider order entry system. The system interface was very cumbersome and the interns and residents complained bitterly about losing sleep due to its inefficiencies. I and our recently arrived informatics fellow, Antoine Geisbuehler, decided to investigate by volunteering to serve as medical ward secretaries. Until we spent extended time directly working on the wards, no one on the development team knew about these system implementation problems. So Randy didn't just solve problems, he made problems solvable. And he did that by understanding not only the content of the knowledge needed to resolve a clinical problem, but also to think about the information flow between the clinician and the device and the patient to make sure that all those parts were supported. Dr. Miller has an eye for the way informatic can change what's possible for clinical medicine, education, or research. He connects trainees to ideas that could make a difference if somebody could figure out how to make them work. Informatics is fun. It's challenging, it's engaging, and it's very fulfilling, both on an intellectual level and interpersonally. When you're a student of his, you will end up being a superb biomedical informatician. So he has mentored people throughout his career. I can't give him higher accolades than that. The greatest rewards of those activities were the opportunity to hire and mentor talented faculty and trainees, and the ability to guide individuals to address collectively some of the most interesting and challenging aspects of our field. The thing that inspires me the most about Dr. Miller's work in informatics is his tenacity. There's a level of perfection that you need 
to make something timeless. It's much harder to say something that's actually meaningful and will remain meaningful because of the amount of energy you put into it. And that inspires me every time I try to think about doing something like that. I believe I will be remembered for one quotable expression and various career milestones. Well, I think a lot of people are probably going to say the same thing about Randy, which is his favorite phrase. My favorite Miller quote is medical informatics is not a spectator sport. Informatics is not a spectator sport. Clinical informatics is not a spectator sport. To move clinical informatics from a spectator sport to a team activity is going to require the same kind of creativity and push that it takes to get parents who brought their kids to the soccer field to get out on the soccer field and play with them. You must sit elbow to elbow with end users before, during, and after implementation. Doing so requires a dual understanding of both clinical practice and of how informatics can be creatively brought to bear on clinical problems. Ah, uh, that is Dr. Miller. You cannot do clinical informatics by sitting in your office and thinking of writing code or thinking of doing things. You must be out there where the clinicians are and the patients are. We have to engage everyone the informatics specialist, the clinician who needs our assistance, perhaps the patient. Bringing those three together results in the very best informatics solutions possible. And Randy is the one who's pushing in that direction. I was fortunate to have served as the founding director of two academic informatics units, chief of the section of medical informatics at the University of Pittsburgh and chair of the Department of Biomedical Informatics at Vanderbilt. Best words to describe Randy are can do. He's creative, he's intelligent, and he's an educator. Randy laid the foundation for our field to recognize that building single purpose solutions wasn't enough. What was important was to be able to repurpose solutions. Well, if Randy were to ask me for my thoughts about him having received this column award, I think the thing I would say is finally.